Greetings and salutations! Welcome to episode 57 of the Bolton Save, and things have been going from bad to worse. As you all knew it was going to happen, I don't. I've, I've had this. You, I'm sure anybody that's played Football Manager has had this sort of thing a number of times, where everything's just going really well, and the tactics you've built is working, and the players you've got are doing well, and then for 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 no apparent logical reason, it just doesn't work anymore. Like it's. There's often been talk on the forums about, well, you know, do, do, does the AI work out your tactics because a tactic can just sort of stop working and stuff like that. And I just, I, I just don't know what's fucking going on. Let's have a look at the games we've played. Two, we've lost them both. So the first game was in the League Cup against Nottingham Forest, who are a Championship side. Yeah, bottom of the bottom of the Championship. So you're thinking, oh well, Loki, you probably just, you know played a few youth players no no i didn't i played my full team because i wanted to get some positivity and get some confidence in the team so i played pretty much my full team the only debut was ad higginson um and uh, he played well but we fucking lost against <laughs> a shit team so then we went on to play a struggling arsenal oh and we lost that five nil of course we did <clears throat> so i went back to the winger formation and we were 2 0 down um, after about half an hour. And we they were playing us off the park, like it, the amount of shots and stuff they were having in possession. Everything was just going horribly wrong. So I took the drastic measure and I went to a, three defenders, central defenders, no uh, fullbacks, packed out the midfield, played two strikers, tried to do something a bit different, made all my substitutes like really early, like, you know, fuck it, just go for it because it's not working. <clears throat> got to half time first half, first highlight of the second half Christopher Ayer decided to sort of scissor kick Bruce Lee style somebody's face and got himself sent off and then obviously the rest of it is history yeah so <laughs> oh and we've had our first team meeting because everybody's upset we're not doing well enough because we're 18 um and I told him it was up to them. So today we are debuting a brand new tactic <laughs> that literally I threw together because I don't know really what to do. So we're going for a 4 4 1 1. And I want to try, like Jamie Vardy's perfect position is a, defen is a um, defensive forward, okay? And the defensive forward is to pressure the back line, you know, run about a lot, basically. And then I thought, I'm going to put Odegaard as a shadow striker. Right behind him, so he's, they're almost linked together. You know, like how um, obviously it's a slightly different, but there was a couple of seasons for Tottenham where Peter Crouch and um, Van der Vaart played together, and Crouch would win all the knockdowns of Van der Vaart, and they scored a ton together. And I kind of went for that. Obviously, not the target man style thing, but two players hopefully playing in and around each other, just to confuse defenders, do all that sort of stuff. And I haven't done any instructions whatsoever. This is the default position the tactics for this uh, formation because this is how i normally do tactics is i'll build the base and then go okay it's all sort of works but this this needs to change and this needs to change so we're just i'm i'm clutching at straws big fat straws but it can't be any worse that's my logic that's that's what we're going with so today we are playing benfica away and liverpool at home <laughs> yay we are in real danger of being sacked here, people. Real danger. I'm going to play Higginson, actually. He had a very good debut. Chambers is a bit knackered. Um, I'm playing Matic as a deep-line playmaker. He actually... That's his favourite role, apparently. I thought he was a defensive midfielder, but OK, he's not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, weird that. Um, and uh, because he's got very good passing and vision, so so he actually he does make a very good deep-line playmaker. With A uh, as a box to box, it's one of my favourite roles. I want him to support the two up front. We're just going to see how it goes. It's going to be hard to tell if it re how well it really works because we're playing Benfica and, and we, you know we just don't know how good we are compared to them. Yes, I changed the team. Well done. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, not Mr. Lugo that we sold for forty three million pounds. Oh, who's scoring for fun this season? Oh. oh no! Oh, it's Halalovic! Oh god! It's basically my feeder team! <laughs> oh no! Well, I'm their feeder team. Oh, this is. 
this already smells of a loss, this one, doesn't it? Anybody else that I used to own? Okay, just the two main attacking players then. Brilliant. Right. <clears throat> um, take them down, boys. <laughs> take them out. Oh, and then I've accidentally applied. Let's just go hard or go home. Right. Let's make a lot of people eat their words, apparently. Jesus Christ. So let's just see how this formation goes. We've not really got much to lose, to be honest, because the other two formations that I've been using for the past... Well, if you include the Bromby save, about a total of about 10 years, apparently just don't work anymore. Um... So we might as well try something. I'm going to highlight Odegaard if I can find him. Oh, first time. Just to see how his positioning is compared to Vardy. Right, just clean sheet for like 10 minutes. Just be fine. There we go. Like this isn't, this formation is not designed to, to sort of get a bag full of goals. You know, we're playing one up front with one behind. It's not, but I'm hoping it's just a bit more secure. It's we've just been. Oh, they're gonna score, aren't they? Because I'm talking about it. Oh, that's a good save, Rykovic. You know, we've just been conceding too many. I'd rather get a few one nil, scrape a few one nil wins. That would be perfectly. Oh, fuck off! Tackle him. Somebody tackle someone. Thank you. Just keep him coming back at this moment. Okay, don't worry about it. Oh, we did want... Oh, no, counter-attacking, counter-attacking. Don't want to be controlling them, or trying to, anyway. Okay. <laughs> I've got a plan. If this doesn't work, I'm going to play it for this game. I've got a plan. Basically, my plan is... Well, I'll tell you if if, if we lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good, then. Oh, of course it's Hal. Yeah. No, it had to be, didn't it? Deflected in, perfectly into his path. Perfect reflection. It's like he almost planned it. Yeah, that's a brace. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. It's just not. It just does. It, it feels like it doesn't matter what I do. Like, oh, I just thought of something. I could go five at the back. Just get more and more defensive. I could go five at the back because my both my fullbacks are very attacking. So they would make very good wing backs. It's a thought. I've not had a successful five at the back tactic for a couple of FM versions. Come on. Come on, this is it. Go on, Azui. Yes. 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 Come on. We only need one shot. We only need one shot. One shot. Clutch in at straws. Lovely ball across from Missouri. I'm not sure if that was meant for Vardy or not, but Odegaard pounces. That's what we want him to be there. Perfect. We just need to get the ball. Um, would be nice. Come out half time. Okay, it's not the worst thing in the world compared to the, the dross I've actually watched the last couple of games. This is okay. <laughs> um, bump, bump, bump. He's a righty, isn't he? Yeah, okay, he's right for it. He's up. Ha he's unhappy because of the we're not doing very well. No, I'm keeping it the same. Keeping it the same. 
<clears throat> Come on, boys, please, please. Obviously, Benfica are an amazing team. I did a um, team guide for FM Scout on Benfica, and their, their youth is... Oh, fucking hell! Their youth prospects are just astonishing. If you ever want a sort of a good save for bringing youth through, pick Benfica. They have some amazing youth players, as well as, like, half my old team. We are getting no possession whatsoever. We're counter-attacking, so I kind of suppose it suits it a bit. <laughs> Azumi's pretty dead. He's been running about like a crazy person. Vardy's not done anything. Good. Quickly, 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 quickly. Right, we'll try him. Just put him as far up as we can, just to see if there's much of a difference coming. Is there any point of going attacking? Might as well. We haven't got the ball. You can't really attack without a ball. Otherwise, that's just running, isn't it? It's not attacking. That's just running about. Come on, tackle him. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Lugo. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, Lugo. <sighs> I'm going to check my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Perfect tackle straight into the striker's path. You know, you know you're having a good day when that happens. Right, two minutes left. Not, by far, not our worst performance of the season. Um, that doesn't really say much. But you've got to take the little victories. I right, can't just blow up, ref. Put us out of our misery, please. Stop faffing about. All three goals scored by uh, ex Bolton players, which is yeah, which is always nice. Uh, it's always nice to see your ex-players doing well for their new clubs. Brilliant. Okay. Here's my plan, boys. Here is my plan. My plan is to basically blame you, the subscribers. And the way I'm going to blame you is I want you... I'm, I'm going to end the episode, like, games-wise. not going to play any more games today. I'm going to save the game here... And I want you to build me a formation. If you, especially if you've been a regular to this save, you know the team. Um, you can go and have a look at older episodes and stuff like that. If you need to sort of catch up on what players are good at and stuff like that, we've been through every player over the course of the sort of series. So, build me a formation. You can do it. In, if the idea would be, if um, I don't know, there's a program called Gyzo, which is G Y A Z O. If you want to build me a formation within your game of football manager and then just take a screenshot or guys of that and tweet it to me or put the link in the description in the um, comments box below or you can do it in ms pain you can do it, it just don't sort of try and you can describe it in the comments but it's easier if you just send me a screenshot of some description do it in ms paint because that'd be hilarious and i will pick one to play against liverpool OK, home against Liverpool. Now, Liverpool are currently third in the league. We are 18th. OK, I want you to pick. It can be any formation that you think might work for the team. No, tr try not to troll me. Try and actually pick formations that you think will work. Um, and yeah, if it if OK, here, even better. If you pick a formation and I'll have a look through them. And I'll pick one that I think looks the best, for me anyway, for what I think would work. 
And then if that formation wins, I will buy you a game for £10 of your choice on Steam. Right? If you pick that formation. And it, and it, and we beat Liverpool. So you need to pick the formation. You need to tell me where the players are going to play in that formation. Like who you're going to play at left back, etc, etc. And if it wins, I'll buy you a game on Steam for a tenner. Right? That's that's the deal. That's the desperation levels I am at currently. And I just thought it'd be a bit of fun. Um So let me go let you let me let go you and me let me know your ideal formation, what you think will truly work as a formation for my Bolton side, and I will use it. And then if it doesn't work, I get to blame you, basically. That's that's sort of how I see it. Right, there we go, guys. We're going to get sacked. I love you all very much. Please leave a like, even if it's just for pity. That's fine. I'll accept it. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. I'm going to go mow the fucking lawn now. Kill me. Kill me.